Jeff Schroeder, co-host of the nationally syndicated talk show Daily Blast Live, is joining me live right now to tell us all about the show. Thanks for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. I'm doing a little Texas tour with all the affiliate stations, and San Antonio is my second stop. Well, you stopped in the best spot, okay? I have to say that. But tell us a little bit about your show and what people can expect. So Daily Blast Live is a you know nationally syndicated show. We're on here, I believe, at 3 o'clock, mm -hmm. right? And, you know, we're just talking about what you're talking about, everyday things and we, you know I gotta be honest with you there's a lot of daytime talk shows out there I say we're a little different you know yeah. what I mean we are honest we're family on that show right we've been together this we're going into our sixth season starting September 12th and we love each other but we're we hate each other too you know what I mean but I mean, not in the sense that you hate each other in the sense that you hate your family sometimes I you know 100% get that <laughs> I have Paul and Clark here who They're, are my family so I get exactly, it exactly <laughs> exactly yeah so we're just talking about everyday stuff you know the first half of the show gets a little serious and it does it gets emotional sometimes and uh, yeah it, 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 it it gets there, but the second half of the show, we do entertainment, lighten it up a little bit. We got comedians, all different walks of life. If you don't like me, you're gonna like somebody else. If you like me, you're probably not gonna like somebody else, but there's something for everybody, right? Yeah, I like that, and you know, the variety is really important to have some news inform your audience yes. and entertain as well, which is like what you said, what we try to do here on Great Day SA. But tell us about your crew. Who else can people expect to watch? Well, Monday. we have Al Jackson, Erica Cobb, Sam Shocker, Tori Shulman, all different walks of life. Al's a stand-up comedian before he started. Mm -hmm. Erica was in radio. Sam was a host for CNN. Tori kind of did, did a little bit of everything. She's a comedian. She's a little bit of everything on the show. Yeah. She's a, uh, she, but I love them. They are my family, you know? And uh, like I said, all different walks of life. Me and Erica are both from Chicago originally, originally. Al from Ohio, Tori from DC, Sam from California. So all walks of life, all different parts of the country, all different points of view. That's so important to have that variety and have a different representation. So it sounds like the show will be a great fit for our audience here who watches Ken's Five every day. I know that for sure. But what would you say is the best part of your job? I mean, I kind of feel like you're at a level higher of where I would want to aspire to be. So what is your favorite part about it? Wow, I think the camaraderie, right? It's, uh, we're not in Los Angeles, like we were just mm -hmm. chatting a little bit, catching up. It's not like that market. I don't know if people at home kind of understand that, but the camaraderie, we all moved, except for Erica Cobb, she was the only one from Denver. We all moved there from Los Angeles at the time. Didn't know a soul. I had one child with me, Sam Shocker had a child, mm -hmm. and we bonded at that moment, right? We only knew each other, we only knew each other's families, so that's what we kind of develop there and I think that's what makes us different when you watch us on air you're like I really see that I see them fighting I see them crying but I know they love each other at the end of the day there's nothing you know the audience sees through that too they see that yeah. you guys are genuine so they want to watch they relate with you and they're like hooked you know so can you give us a, a preview or a sneak peek of anything that people can look forward to do you guys have celeb ready guests on the show as well you know we do we get celebs here and there because we're in Denver that's uh -huh. the one downfall we don't get the celebs coming in and out but I mean we've had some great names on the show famously Matthew McConaughey right oh, Texas guy I haven't even had him on this show so I'm jealous <laughs> I, listen I, I don't get that nervous I get more nervous for like ball players you know I, oh, I, I yeah. always wanted to like be that like that athlete guy yes. but Matthew McConaughey popped on and I was like Wow, that's McConaughey right there. So I think, I, I mean, you gotta love him here in Texas, right? Oh, absolutely. So you're speaking to Matthew McConaughey and so kind of like, not, I would say fan guying, but I have to ask you some rapid fire questions. So yeah, what is a me. celeb you would dream to interview? Whew. Oh, wow. I had a couple on my list, but with so many people getting canceled, I got to scratch oh, a couple man. of those people off the list. Okay. One just popped in and he just got into trouble, so I'm not gonna say his okay. name. Okay. But he was at the top of my list. Okay. Actually, two. Okay. Can I just name them? I think I think you could. <laughs> Since we're honest, Fred Savage was one. He got okay. in a little bit of trouble. Oh, yes. I don't know. We're still the sorting Wonder that years, out. The Wonder Years, right? I love Fred Savage, right? We're going to sort that out, see what he did. And Gary Busey was another one. He just got into a little bit of trouble. Those are the first two names that popped in my head. So maybe I need to adjust my list. Are but you a troublemaker? <laughs> I'm kidding. He's not a troublemaker. I am a little bit. A little bit. We're honest on the show. We're honest on here. But like I said, Matthew McConaughey was on top of that list. Uh, we interviewed so many other people that were on top of my list. So chipping away, Jason Mraz is one of my favorite artists. Oh, yes. Got to do an interview with him. So, I mean, just every day is different. We don't know what the future holds for us, but mm -hmm. we're growing every single day. So I think all the people that I have up on the top of my list that aren't canceled, 
world, I'll get to interview one day, hopefully. Uh, are you a pizza kind of guy or a taco kind of guy? Oh, I know the answer I should say for here, huh? Yeah. But I'm a Chicago guy. <laughs> I know, so right? So I, I got to go pizza, but I know you want, you want me to say tacos, It's huh? okay. We'll allow it's it okay. because I'm with it's, you. But thank you so okay. much. It's okay. We're out of time. Yeah. No, a little bit, yeah. I mean, we're going to be honest. That's the honest that's part right, of our, right. our gig here. But thank you so much for joining us. Thank you us. so much, yeah. I want everyone to watch y'all weekdays Please. at 3 p.m. right here on Ken's 5.